All right, hey, Josh here, Attica Lumber Company. Hey, in this video, I'm gonna share with you a couple different things that we're doing here as far as connecting, actually, you know, post frame style building to an existing house. And we did actually a metal roof over a shingle. And then we're collaborating with some other builders as well. All right, but a 21 by 30 right there connected to that house. And then it's gonna be a 40 by 40 section. I'm gonna show you the interior as well, what we're doing. Um, as far as the interior package on that. So let's get into this. But what we did here, we actually put on this roof, this connection, we put the metal on the house. What we did, it was a shingle roof. So what we'd use, we use a furring strip, three quarter inches, all right. And then we attach the 29 gauge metal right on top of that. All right, now we used actually a three inch screw to go through that. And actually one of our guys at work, and again, we use a furring strip. Now you can use different things. We had a guy actually that did his own home. It was a 912 pitch. What he used, he used two by fours for his, you know, his layer and then attached the metal to that. All right. So let's go inside here. Let's take a look at this. A little different here. 40 by 40, 16. You can see right here at this door. Uh, 16 by 12. All right. So give you some specs right here. And then over here, this door a little bit different 12 by 11 again we talked about it having some door issues as far as the standard doors are in stock but having supply side issues supply chain issues getting that but you can see what they're doing right here painted drywall on the side and the reason why the guy wanted to go with this versus a steel panel sidewall application is getting one to hang stuff on the walls and you can see on the ceiling as well you have the osb being tacked up there on the back of that all right, so again, white painted OSB. All right, and then we got the vapor barrier up top there and these guys are working, but I wanna share with you, we're gonna go into the home section that we saw on the outside and I'll share with you a few interesting specs on that. And then he's actually gonna blow R25 cellulose insulation on top little different perspective here. He's gonna blow R25 insulation on top of that. All right. But you can see on the inside here, I actually got a lot of mud on my shoes, but I'll show you here. So what we're doing, we're putting the vinyl siding. You see that to the home portion of that. You see we've got these raised cord scissor trusses. Give them more head on this space right here. All right. And then, uh, you can see right here, you can see these windows give you some perspective as far as these are eight feet. All right, eight feet. And then also over here, those windows just kind of give you an idea that these guys are working five feet. So uh, there you go here. You can see what we're doing here. We've got insulation, craft face insulation on this sidewall, getting that connected. So. Give you some ideas if you guys want to expand again taken from an existing home kind of a living area and then also a 40 by 40 post frame garage out here so give you kind of an idea again comments always welcome so different applications a lot of times you'll see a metal metal liner panel that we do but again we're flexible on what you want to do so again comments welcome next one keep it locked loaded right here out of columbia out of columbia since 1925